hi guys in this lecture you will be learning the css3 2d transform so what is the 2d transform uh, in the simple words what is uh, the transform is the property through which you can change the shape size and position of an element so that is called the transform and 2d is called the two dimensional you can change the position size and shape of any element in two dimensions so here to see the effect of the transform we have to apply the transition so you can see the effect of transform clearly without the transition you cannot see the effect of transition transform so now here I'm gonna apply the hover over the div and in between this we have to define the properties for the of the transform first of all write the transform and then we have to write the functions but before this here I'm gonna write uh, provide the transition on the transform here is all properties and all properties and here is the one second delay and here is the linear timing function and now here first function in the transform is translate so what is the function of the translate the translate function uh, move an element from the current position to the given position according to the given parameter so here we have to provide uh, a parameter first of all we will move this div on the x-axis so that's why here I have write the x so here I'm gonna give 20 pixel in the x axis so now this div will move 20 pixel in the x axis here we have to write hover and now let's check it so now here you can see that div is moved 20 pixel in the x axis so if we write y axis so now it is moving 20 pixel in the y axis and you can also give both values in the same function what you need to do just write translate and 20 pixel for the x and 20 pixel for the y axis and here is it's moving and here I'm gonna write 0 0.3 second so now it is fast the transition is now it has become fast and the next function is rotate you can also give the rotate so what is the function of the rotate in the rotate you can move any element in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction what you need to do you just need to give the angle here I'm gonna give 20 degree so now it is moving 20 degree here it's moved 20 degree and you can also give different angles minus 180 so now it's moved minus 180 here you can see that so in this way you can apply many functions now I am going to give another function that is the scale so what is the scale the scale is a function in which uh, we can increase width or height of the div along the x-axis and the y-axis here if we write x so now here if we give 2 so now its uh, width is become 2 times increase in the x-axis or uh, so now its width is increase 2 times and if we write y so now its height is increase here you can see that its height is increased 2 times and you can also apply both things in the same function by only writing the scale and here first is width and the second is the height and the other function is skew what is the skew when we give the skew so we can move an element along the x-axis or y-axis according to the given angle so here write skew and here if we write x then here is the 20 degrees so now element is move in the x-axis 
20 degree if we write y so now it's moving 20 degree in the y direction and we can also give both angles here I'm gonna give 40 degree for the x axis 20 degree for the y axis so now it is moving this is called the skew so now I am going to teach you the 3d transform so first of all what is the 3d transform I have already teach you the 2d transform but in the 3d transform you can change the directions in the three dimensionally you can also say that you can uh, you can also say that you can change the position size and shape in the z axis so first of all let's start here I'm gonna remove this function and I'm gonna provide the rotate function and in the rotate function you can also give the x-axis and you can give the degree so now this fun div is gonna be rotate in the x-axis but it is less and you can also give the y here we have to write the uppercase x and y and z because the w3c recommended the lowercase also works but recommendation is important and here i'm gonna provide more angle 180 degree so here you can see that it is rotating in the y axis and you can also give the z so now let's see what happened so here it is moving in the z axis that is also called the 3d axis and you can also write all these three axes in the 3d function rotate 3d function and here what we need to do first of all we need to write the value for the x-axis and then the value for the y-axis and then the value for the z-axis and then an angle of a movement so now let's check it so here you can see that it is rotating 2 3 and 5 it is just the position in the x axis y and z axis and now i am going to show you uh, the translate z property we have learned the translate x axis and translate y but we have not learned the translate in the z axis here is the translate z we have to provide 50 pixel so now uh, the div is moved 50 pixel in the z axis here let's render it but here you cannot see the effect clearly we have to provide the perspective property what is the perspective property perspective property is used to view the 3d elements and the 3d effects here right perspective and here in between this i'm going to write 500 pixel and now let's check it so here you can see that this is a translate z effect and now i want to show you you can also put all the x and y and z in the single property here write the translate 3d 3d and here for the x axis 50 pixel for the y axis 10 pixel and for the z axis 20 pixel and now let's check it it is moving and now i want to show you the scale property for the z axis and the 3d axis but for here i'm going to write scale z 3 it is the value for the z axis then the div is placed but here we have to provide the perspective property here is a perspective perspective 500 pixels and now let's check it it is not clear because we have to provide another property that is rotate then it's show the effect clearly here is the y 45 degree so now let's check it its effect here we have not write the correct spelling 
so now this is called the scale because it is changing uh, the size of the div in the z axis we have provide the scale property for the z axis it increased the size in the z axis three times and now I'm gonna provide 3D and here is the first value for the x-axis, second is for the y and third is for the z. So now here it is and in this way you can see that x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis size is increasing and the next property is the rotate y. So, so the next property is back face visible. So here I want to show you why we are gonna apply the back face visible here is the rotate Y so whenever we apply the rotate Y so here the div is moving but its back face is visible when it is moving but if we want to hide its back face we have to provide the back face back face visibility here we have to write hidden so now let's check it and here you can see that its back face is hidden when it is moving so you can also apply the visible so it will be visible so in this way you can use the 2d and 3d transform and in my next lecture i am going to teach you the animations what is the animation let's see in the next lecture